Well, hello, this is Paul from Sound Mobiles, and this is a review on the Benetone Blade. Okay, so this phone is meant to be going against this. Now, this is obviously a V3, this is actually a V3i, I believe it is. Um, the idea of this phone was it was extremely thin, and yes, but it was also made out of metal. Well, this one is mainly made out of plastic. Um, yeah, I've had a look. And to be quite honest, my first my first look at it is wow, that's shocking. It is actually probably thinner. It's longer, but yeah. Um, let's see what else we get in the box and see how it works. Okay, headphones. There you go. So they're, they're micro USB headphones. They're not 3.5 headphone jack. They're trying to be an iPhone. Um, they look horrible, and they probably are. <clears throat> but we will test them later, because you never know. We might be pleasantly surprised. And then you get a USB uh, plug, which is free pin, obviously it'd be in the UK. Uh, feels cheap and nasty. It might sound at the moment I'm slagging this phone off, um, but we'll, we'll wait and see, you never know. It might surprise me. And then obviously USB to micro USB um, charging cable. Battery. And what else have we got? Quick start guide. Now to me this shouldn't be a quick start guide of this because this is aimed at the older generation. So there should be a full instruction book, not a quick start guide. But there you go. Such is life. What else is in there? There's something else in the bottom of this box. Oh, this is it. To show you how to get the back of the uh, phone off. You slide it up, I believe. Yep, slide it up, and then that comes off. Oh, as you can see, it's uh, not the easiest thing to do. Okay, radio. So it can take up to a 32 gig um, SD card. Uh, it takes two SIMs, one micro and one full size. Uh, yeah, right. Let's put the battery in. Here we go. Just it, is it that way? Oh dear. Doesn't actually say which way, does it? Let's hope that's the right way. We'll soon know. It go bang. <coughs> oh, mate! <laughs> that sounds awful. Okay, right, I'm going to put this back, back on anyway. Right, back's on. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in now, get out of the light, and uh, yeah. So the idea of it is it's got big keys. Um, they don't light up very well, as you can see. It's, it looks like there's one LED there. Actually, it looks like there is one LED in it at all to light up the whole keyboard. Where if you think, like sort of going back to the older Nokias, There'd be, there'd be three LEDs there, three LEDs there, just to light up this keyboard, even on a little phone, and then there'd be three or four up here as well. But there you go, it looks like there's one LED in there. Cheap. Right, okay, so let's have a look. Menu. The, the buttons are quite big, uh, I'll give them that. Just gonna try and focus in on this. You have to turn the brightness down, I think. Okay, so apart from that na nasty sound, apparently you can store up to a hundred phone numbers in this. I mean, obviously, if it is for the older generation, they might not have, they might not want to store it. Uh, messages, so standard messages. Let's have a look at what the writing of a message is like, whether it's big, small. It is lit. It, that's not a major rip off of the old Motorola. They had that. How is it brought up? Oh, maybe it's because you spelt it wrong. There you go. Hello. Oh, so it's a quite. It's a fairly big size. It's fair. It's fairly bigish. You might be able to change that. No, it doesn't. So you can. We'll come out of this. You will be able to turn that horrible sound off as well. Uh, 
Nope, I can't change it in there. And then you're not going to be able to check it. Nope. Okay. Going over, we have calls. So this is where your missed calls are, or your uh, dialed calls, received calls, rejected calls, and delete, uh, delete all, delete all. And audio. Going over here, settings. Settings. Okay, call settings, SIM card settings. Standby. Oh, so you can have one running and one not running on the SIM cards. Call diversion, call waiting, call barring, call ID, and others. And others, it's just more calls, call settings and stuff like that. Okay. Phone settings. Time, date, languages. Let's have a look at the languages. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a, it's got a fair few languages, so that's that's a good point. And you've got the quick keys. That'd be these around here. Auto power on and off, so you can set it. Power saving mode. Color LED. I think that's for the front when you flip it over like this. If you see, it can tell when you've got a message or a missed call, stuff like that. Uh, let's go back into that again. Oh, that's a nasty sound, isn't it? That is horrible. Um, color LED settings. So you can MP3, flip on, flip off. So you don't have to have it on when, it, when you flip it. Alert LEDs, missed calls, unread messages, alert LED, t LED time, LED time, Time settings. Ah, oh, right, yeah, I see. Uh, restore factory settings. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's that. Display. Contrast. I'm going to leave that down for now. Backlight. Keypad. Backlight. 10 seconds. So you can set that up to uh, night mode. Why would you. Unless it's in night mode, then that's awful as it is. Okay, uh, and you can set wallpapers, and obviously you can set what's at the back, whether you want SIM 1, SIM 2, FM radio, and time and date. Security, just standard security, um, yeah, nothing exciting, and obviously that's a bit strange, your blacklists in there as well, so you can put the blacklists of people you want to bar from calling you in there. Profiles, cover your ears, because this is going to be shocking. Fixed ring. Oh my days. Oh yes. Listen to that. Right. Okay. No message tones. Nice. Oh, at least you can set different, different settings for uh, each sim, which is quite cool. Surprised that's all, that was fully up already. Surprised that's fully up. Oh, it's, oh no, it wasn't. Oh. Oh. Cool volume. Where? Oh my days. Maybe you can't turn it off. No, you must be able to. Ringtone types. Others. Come on, keypad tone. Silent. Yep. Yeah, so you can do that. Batch. And there's a few. There's a few more power tones. As uh, like power tone, powering tone for when it runs out and or running low. Yeah, that's all right. There's a silent mode as well. Connectivity. Networks. Networks. Okay. So you could. You can obviously go on the internet on it. Not that you'd want to. Camera. I bet it's going to ask for an SD card. Oh, my hand's covering it. Oh my days, that's got to be the most shockingest camera I've seen in years. Okay, that was the picture I just took. Um, yeah, so it's a VGA camera. It's, gonna, it's just crap, basically. Yeah, proper crap. Can you video as well? Uh, doesn't say nothing about videoing, does it? No. 
Not on there anyway. Okay. Applications. Games. <gasps> Shut up, it's only got Snake on it. <laughs> it's like the original Snake as well. That's probably the best thing so far about this phone. It's got Snake on it. Okay. Tetris. Really? Oh, my days. This is just ripping off everything, isn't it? How do you change it? Okay. No idea. But anyway, it's got Tetris on it. What was that? Oh, that's quite a cool game, actually. Right, okay, alarm, stopwatch, weld time, timer, calculator, uh, unit converter, Bluetooth has got on it, images, what is images? Oh, so you store your, that's a bit weird, storing your images down there. Recorder, DV, what's a DV? Is that, what is a DV when it's at home? Anyway, DV is basically your uh, camera, uh, your video. DV. Digital camera, maybe? I don't know. Right. Let's have a look at these shocking headphones. Can't even get them in there. Bearing in mind, I'm going to tell you the price of this phone in a bit, and you're going to be, you're going to be quite shocked. Searching for channels. Still searching. Right, well, the headphones are shocking, as we all know there was going to be. It's, at the end of the day, it's nice to, It's nice just to have a little radio on there. Um, yeah, so that's that. The radio does work, so, yep. Nice big calendar there, nice. File manager, uh, so your photos, your videos, and obviously if you, why would you have for alarms, okay. And obviously music, you can put up to a 32 gigabyte card in it, so, yeah. Uh, internet, yes! I wasn't meant to bring a SIM card home with me to go on the internet, uh, but it will only be 3G anyway, so it will be very, very slow. And that is basically it. That is basically it. Um, obviously, it does tell you on the front if you've missed a call and whether you're listening to the radio or not. Um, volume up and down there, going around to this side, you've got your micro USB charger, crappy VGA camera, and I'm, sh I'm assuming the speaker's somewhere around here as well. Uh, yeah. I'll be deadly honest with you. If it was me and I had the choice out of this or the Alcatel, I think it's 2051, I'd, I'd buy the Alcatel over this any day of the week. This, it, I, it for 30, 35 pound this was, SIM free from Carphone Warehouse, it's not worth 35 quid. It, this is a 20 quid phone tops um, yeah and obviously this is li this is just literally hit the market it is I don't know it's just shocking basically it is it, I'm not impressed at all I'm actually gonna I, usually what I do is I usually like review the phones and then sell them in my shop but this this is going back to car phone warehouse for 35 quid because I don't even want to sell it to no one um, yeah not impressed at all uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. My advice to you it would be to buy the Alcatel flip phone. I think, it, I'm sure, 99% sure it's um, Alcatel 2051. This does come in different colours. You can get it in rose gold, red and black. Um, yeah, but it's not the greatest. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Give the video a thumbs up, sub buttons down below, and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.